there are a lot of um, a lot of connections between Renaissance, whatever <laughs> they call it when it happened in Florence, another pope uh, controlled church spaces by so-called you know, glorified artists of the past, uh, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, and others who practiced uh, simply as craftsmen without any original thought of their own upon this great sin of Renaissance where they glorified images and things that uh, deeply uh, still highly effectively in this century have divided us and separated us from the world itself that we live in and this was a great first great wrong turn from so-called what they called uh, paganism which was uh, what people were enchanted by before and that was the world itself uh, still confused and uh, story loving individuals who connected this great pure love and desire and respect uh, for the world they mixed it up with the stories of s dreaming some things that we can call dreaming the way indigenous peoples of the world can call the tales of dreaming and instead of attempting to evolve this state of mind that was not at all morally wrong but it was uh, charming and romantic about uh, its beliefs and instead of trying to purify this state of consciousness that was happening we or they turned uh, a huge corner and suddenly started painting pictures of religious figures that we now still witness f wars for happening about um, a part in that uh, the renaissance played uh, immensely and your great artists of the past that you so have uh, sort of chiseled into your stones of your consciousness and subconsciousness like Da Vinci, Michelangelo, etc, etc or the contemporaries uh, helped immensely painting these figures that suddenly uh, were decided to be something that uh, uh, utterly utterly separated uh, uh, the consciousness of the world, consciousness of the people from the world towards this uh, the further stories of dreaming because what that was it's a never be just stories of dreamings the same way the dreaming stories of an Aboriginal people in this country are uh, talking about uh, big crocodiles flying in the sky uh, and uh, many more other uh, stories of dreaming of uh, people also of uh, uh, Amazon forest and uh, uh, American Indian people who's, uh, who were slaughtered in its uh, uh, 17 million numbers uh, these stories and these uh, big uh, paintings on top of uh, large buildings in Rome uh, in Pope's quarters uh, that Michelangelo partly did and of course uh, Da Vinci um, utterly um, disabled uh, and helped uh, disable the righteousness of human consciousness that happened before that so called revolution first great wrong revolution human uh, in the history of human consciousness um, was this one it was uh, the the sharpest corner that has ever ter been turned in human history where people suddenly started uh, uh, on order uh, you know and glorified
horrified by images of them um, being forced into the consciousness as, as something that has to be believed in and something as a, as a you know as a, as a truth which is very 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 um, uh, pathetic uh, and, it's, uh, and and one of the simplest mistakes ever made in, in, in the history of humankind and the so-called renaissance <laughs> the way I see it and I, the way that I think it is, is was, uh, was the first great wrong step of humankind and um and of course uh, that and, and there was no there was there was no greater mistake everything else that came after that so i just uh, uh so called mistakes that seemed to me planned because once uh, you uh, separate human consciousness it was very strong and it was called uh, they called it paganism these uh, fascists that came after that and uh, Distant, uh, obviously, in a way, very planned uh, that they distant uh, human attention and respect and love for the world they live in away from that, and they just steered it to these fictional figures that Michelangelo painted and <laughs> uh, and uh, Da Vinci, and 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 with that they helped the second uh, step happen, which was. Um, of course, the Industrial Revolution, which uh, morally justified by the so-called Renaissance, uh, was more than happy to start ruthless drilling and blowing up the, of the world, um, um, justified by this uh, newborn religion of, uh, <laughs> that uh, they had invented at the time. and. Uh, this, of course, um, helped them steer steer this great love that humans uh, always have deeply felt for the world they live in, and threw the dust in their eyes and said, "Well, we'll just keep, uh, we'll just now drill the world while you believe in this other thing, uh, uh, while we just uh, keep drilling it, cutting it down, blowing it up, you know." for the sake of so-called capitalist uh, fascist progress and this is very clear why of course communism is of course uh, fascism uh, also and I don't want to be accused of any of this shit because for me the only difference ca between capitalism and ca communism whatever that fucking is either of those things is that communists just did, uh, do it a lot less organized you know they, they just uh, a bit less talented than the the, the capitalists uh, in, in 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 blowing up and destroying the world that we live in, and it's the only difference. The ambitions are the same, and none of that uh, bothers me or interests me at all. As I said, and 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 some things about what I said are famous, and that is neo democratic electronic government, neo democracy, evolution of democracy where people's votes are simply counted by machines and their decisions put to practice without necessity of having to have a leader at all, you know, without without the need to have a leader to erase this deeply seeded curse of uh, the many uh, little minds of history uh, of humankind who simply felt like um, there was a necessity to be a leader which kept that ambition, that, that dirty, pathetic, wrong ambition and they and them alive, you know. That's why we have all the so called great genocidal leaders of the past, because they were offered this necessity, um, uh, of having to have one. That they went uh, on trying to achieve this great pathetic thing and, and um as they did so they, they committed so many genocides. Now this has to be erased. We have to finally in this century understand in this 21st century, in my century, understand that um, there's no need. We simply have to attempt to erase this deeply seated uh, and wrong need, the, 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 the need to, to, to have a leader. And uh, when we live in a society where we don't have to have one, then slowly, generation by generation, we'll be able to erase this um, pathetic, evil ambition in, 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 in consciousness of humankind 
uh, to to have to have a leader and f therefore strive to be one. Once that is uh, achieved uh, through the system of neo democratic electoral government, where the votes are simply counted and uh, and, uh, and responsibility is spread equally among the citizens and people in this world, then we will be getting to some magical spaces where people simply will be born and uh, many generations into this uh, understanding they will not uh, genetically have um, this curse to uh, want to become a leader at some point and have the so-called power socially imposed power and uh, I mean that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the only way